To get started with Funeral Press, all you have to do is install the plugin in WordPress. And once activated, you'll have an obituary section in your admin. On the front end, um, you have a basic obituaries listing, which can be changed to either a block view, a thumbnail mode, or just a listing mode. Uh, right now we have block mode on, but you can change that in the settings by just going to Fiona Press settings and changing that in this drop down here. So if we wanted thumbnails, click save. And then you, you would have a thumbnail mode. Um, Funeral Press is templated, so you can take these templates and put them in your uh, WordPress theme and uh, change the layout. You can enable the search or disable the search. Um, we have advanced search for keywords and dates. And we also have different templates for the obituary itself. Um, there are a few settings here. Uh, so there's a global setting where you can change the uh, the single obit page. Um, we have three different versions here and again you can override this and create your own template by um, dropping a template file in your themes folder and we have documentation how to do that on our website. So just to view the three different layouts. So here's our original layout. This was um, the first one we developed which is a tabbed layout. Um, the second one is more of a vertical navigation and the third one is a single page layout so um, basically it wouldn't have any of these tabs and all the information would be right on this page on one long running page. Obituaries have a guest book so if you click guest book um, you can see this one has no posts click to add one and you can leave a message um, or, fo or photo and in our premium you can use YouTube and uh, a link as well um, so on this uh, layout here you can see we have our obituary and then we have our guest book right underneath it um, so you can post images uh, YouTube and um, this is a little different layout here so just leave your message and click add message we also have an add-on for lighting a candle um, this is a separate add-on so you just click light light a candle you can choose through one of these candles here um, and you can also um, upload your own candles as an admin so if you go to uh, settings and then manage candles, um, you can add new candles here and that will show up in that pop-up. Again, that's an add-on. Um, I'm just kind of going over all the features throughout our plugins here. Uh, when you're to adding a Nobit or editing a Nobit, uh, there are a bunch of different settings here from name, um, gender, birthday, death day, burial date. Um, we have a charity feature that allows you to create charities to choose from and um, you can select one of these charities to be associated with the obituary. In our premium item we also have cemetery features where you can uh, create sections for the cemetery and assign a lot number and a grave number. Um, you can add funeral homes and cemeteries and um, it would show up in this list here and uh, that way you can assign uh, dates and times for when the funeral procession is as well as the um, cemetery uh, burial date is. And we also have a bunch of different features for extra tabs. Sometimes you're going to want like a uh, video feed of the funeral so we have a special tab for that. Um, we have we give you extra tabs if you want to create something special for an obituary um, service information uh, you can add service lines
So right now we have uh, one photo here, but you do have the ability to add additional fo photos, and this uses the WordPress uploader. Um, so you can crop photos right at, right in the editor by clicking uh, Edit Image. Um, so when you add additional photos to the obituary, it'll cycle through all these photos. Um, you can add uh, text under image. Uh, there's an obit background setting, so you can change the background image of the obituary. Uh, we do have a locations uh, feature. Um, this allows you to uh, set up events um, and locations throughout the person's life. Um, and it'll, it, it'll be shown in a timeline on the obituary itself. And uh, you can also disable any of these features on the obituary. Um, one thing I didn't mention as well is each obituary allows you to override the template. So if you want to create a special template for somebody, or if you have a VETS template that you want to create, you can, you can do that as well. Um, guestbook features. Uh, when somebody adds a guestbook post, you can set it up so uh, it has to be approved or you can auto approve guestbooks. Um, when you have an unapproved message, they'll, it'll give you a notification. Uh, you have one pending guestbook waiting to be, to, to be approved. Um, we also have uh, email settings so you'll be notified. Uh, when somebody posts a uh, guestbook message and there are just a ton of features that you can go through um, For instance, uh, we you can set up flowers uh, To go to a specific website We have uh, default images um, You can disable some of the search features uh, and um, As well as a bunch of other features you can disable uh, right through our disable features uh, tab here um, as far as terminology, you can change that. Not everybody likes to call it obituary. You can call it memorials, remembrances, uh, whatever wording you need there. And um, we kind of did that for a lot of the uh, naming throughout the uh, plugin. Uh, some of the premium settings here. Um, our, our premium add-on has a WooCommerce integration. Um, which can be seen in another video. It basically allows you to search for an obituary and purchase flowers for um, that person. Uh, we, ha we also have a t ton of settings in, uh, for, for light a candle and um, our carousel and, and, and other add-ons. Uh, each obituary comes with a sharing feature as well. Uh, and you can disable these if you don't want to do any sharing. Um, when you click uh, Funeral Home, uh, we do have a map feature. Um, I don't have it enabled here, but um, it'll show you a map of where the funeral home is. So on top of that, you can pretty much do anything you want with this plugin. Um, there, there are a ton of templates for you to change. Uh, settings to make this plugin work for your certain situation. We have a lot of uh, people using it for funeral homes, cemeteries, um, pet cemetery websites. Um, we have a few websites out there where people are using it just to um, honor people um, because you can basically change the wording however you need. So if you have any questions, reach out to us. Um, you can go to wpfuneralpress.com and uh, click chat with us or submit a ticket and um, let us know your needs. Uh, thanks.